Today we discuss uh, diffusivity in mesoporous channels. According to the IUPAC classification of pore sizes, micropores have uh, diameters less than um, 2 nanometers. Mesopores have diameters ranging from 2 nanometers to uh, 50 nanometers. And macropores have diameters larger than 50 nanometers. To understand the uh, reasoning behind this uh, choice of pore dimensions to distinguish micropores and mesopores, we examine the uh, potential energy of interaction between um, gas molecules and the pore wall. Uh, for three different gas molecules, hydrogen, shown in black, argon, shown by the blue line, and methane, shown by the red line, we uh, see that the uh, potential of an interaction potential energy of interaction of the gas molecules is uh, significant for distances less than one nanometer from the pore wall. Put another way, within a micropore, a gas molecule is always under the influence of uh, interactions with the pore wall and there is no central core region. On the other hand, for mesopores with uh, diameters uh, larger than 2 nanometers, we have a central core region in the uh, close to the close in the region close to the wall the uh, potential energy of interactions is dominated by interactions with the pore wall. Whereas in the central core region, the gas molecule is not under the influence of uh, interactions with the pore wall. So um, within mesopores, the uh, diffusivity is dictated both by molecule wall and molecule molecule collisions. In order to gain an understanding of uh, molecule wall collisions and molecule molecule collisions within the mesopores, let's look at uh, MD simulations for the motion of uh, hydrogen molecules within a four nanometer sized silica mesopore. We note that the uh, hydrogen molecules collide with the pore wall and get reflected. We also note there are molecule molecule collisions within the uh, central co-regions. This cartoon gives you an indication of uh, the uh, molecule wall collisions experienced by hydrogen. The uh, angle of uh, incidence bears no relation to the angle of reflectance and um, hydrogen experiences what is called diffuse reflectance. Let's uh, turn to MD simulations for methane diffusing inside uh, the 4 nanometer silica pore. We note there is a higher concentration of methane near the pore wall because methane is 
significantly more strongly absorbed at the pore wall and the strong absorption introduce, introduces a bias in uh, the hops that experience that is experienced by methane. Uh, this cartoon um, explains this bias nature of uh, molecule wall um, collisions. A methane molecule strikes a pole wall, but it's uh, also absorbed. And this absorption at the pole wall introduces a bias in uh, its motion, and it has a tendency to uh, hop to a neighboring site before eventually returning to the uh, bulk gas phase in the central core region. In uh, my uh, video presentation, Diffusion in 1D Mesoporous Channels, other video recordings of MD simulations for different uh, mesoporous channels are available. Martin Hans Christian Knudsen developed a formula to uh, calculate the diffusivity inside mesopores reflecting molecule wall collisions. The Knudsen diffusivity formula is uh, shown here. The Knudsen diffusivity is proportional to the pore diameter, is proportional to the square root of the temperature, and inversely proportional to the molar mass of the gas uh, molecule. R is the gas constant. In deriving the uh, Knudsen formula, it is assumed that the gas molecule suffers Diffuse reflectance, in other words, the angle of incidence bears no relation to the uh, angle at which the uh, gas molecule gets uh, reflected after experiencing collision with the pole wall. This diffuse reflectance um, scenario holds for poorly absorbed molecules such as uh, helium, hydrogen, but for most strongly absorbed molecules, say for example CO2, that absorbs on the uh, wall surface, there is a tendency for the gas molecule to hop to a neighboring site before returning to the central co-region, as was uh, demonstrated in the uh, foregoing video animation for methane. For background to the uh, Knudsen theory, I refer you to my publication in Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 2016. In order to test the validity of the uh, Knudsen formula for uh, molecule wall collisions within um, mesopores. We carried out MD simulations for a wide variety of gas molecules in um, several different uh, pore topologies, including zeolites, MOFs, COFs, silica channels. The uh, data are published in the public in um, a variety of papers that are listed here. The MD data for diffusivity of methane in um, zeolites, mops, coughs, and silica channels with various uh, pore dimensions are plotted here in uh, red circles and green squares. The uh, red circles are for silica mesopores and the uh, green squares are for the uh, zeolites, mops and coughs. The uh, 
solid block line is the Knudsen diffusivity formula. Similarly, the MD data for argon is plotted here and compared with the Knudsen diffusivity formula. For both methane and argon, we see that the Knudsen diffusivity formula overestimates the uh, diffusivity value when compared to the uh, values determined from MD simulations. We take the ratio of the uh, values determined from MD to the value calculated using the Knudsen formula and plot that ratio as a function of the Henry coefficient in this uh, graph for a channel or, or that is 3.4 nanometers. It's a cough called BTP cough. And we see that the deviations from the Knudsen formula becomes greater with increasing adsorption strength. This is because with increasing adsorption strength, there is a tendency for the gas molecules to uh, deviate more strongly from the uh, Knudsen prescription because of the biased nature of uh, hops along the surface. The same is true for a 2 nanometer silica pore where, see, where we see that the, the uh, MD simulated values of the uh, diffusivity reflecting um, molecule wall collisions deviates from the Knudsen formula to a greater extent with increased Henry coefficient. In other words, the more strongly adsorbed the molecule, the poorer is the agreement between the um, Knudsen prescription and the values determined from MD simulations. The takeaway message from this uh, video presentation is that the Knudsen diffusivity formula is uh, applicable for poorly adsorbed uh, gas molecules and uh, with increased strength of adsorption, the, devia the deviation from the Knudsen formula increases. Further details are available in my publication from 2016.